morning guys welcome to today today we have another oh. miracle another farm miracle you guys know that we have our mama broody oh. chicken oh, oh no wow. we missed it so we have our mama broody chicken in this little x pen here we made a little bed for her and got her it's some like, food and some water um, it's right there oh the reason that we made her her own little bed is because when she's out there and she's with the other chickens and um, she doesn't feel safe leaving her nest and she won't eat and and sometimes chickens will get their nutrition will decline so badly that they'll become sick so we wanted to pamper her and make sure that she felt good while she was hatching eggs and we didn't know for sure if she would like if she'd have any luck or or if it would work out for her because she's kind of a young chicken she's a coaching chicken and she's been doing really well she's been eating and drinking lots so anyways we woke up this morning and I checked and there were no chickens. I had to go drive my son to work and we came back and there was a baby, ch I came back and Sophie had found a baby chick. The last time our mama, the last time we let one of our chickens hatch eggs, she only hatched one. So hopefully, we'll, oh, that's right. She did two, but one wasn't, wasn't good. One was blind, I think. Can't remember correctly, but I'm pretty sure it was blind and it ended up bad. Anyways, welcome to today's video. I'm happy to have you guys here. Today, we're spending the day on the farm, which I'm excited about. You guys know we don't always get a lot of days to just stay home, and yesterday got away from us, but today, we're home, and I'm excited to get some stuff done. So uh, this year, I want to focus on family. This year, like every year, and the last few years have been all about the girls and the horse shows, which is still gonna be about that this year but I also want to like bring in more family stuff the last few years you guys know with COVID it's just changed everything and I want to kind of go back to family you guys so basically we have this huge area over here that we don't use Sam cuts this area and it's kind of private from the road well a little bit private from the from the road I think I'm gonna take this part of our property and put our trailer like our sleeping trailer here you guys know you saw it last year Sam always is buying trailers and selling them but last year he didn't sell his whenever the grandkids come or family come we always sleep in it and it's always so super fun Sophie and her friends sleep in it Gabby actually Gabby didn't sleep in it last year with her friends but anyways so I want to set up like an area over here where we can have lounge chairs and the trailer and make it kind of like a little camping spot. Then our fire pit is down there and like I said we're working on all that little strip there getting it all cleaned up. So I'm going to put the girls to work and get them setting up these lounge chairs over here. So I love that we have a couple of shade trees here but I really want the sun. I'm a sun worshipper. So look I'm going to show you where I want this to go. Can you see that for a minute? Yeah. Too hot out here. All right, so your guys' job while I cut the grass is to bring these lounge chairs and put them over there, set them up in the sun a little bit. I'm gonna put the trailer, the sleeping trailer over here. We're gonna set up like a little camping spot. Why, but you can have the thing over there and get Wi-Fi. Hmm, that is such a good point. Sophie and I are looking for a nest. It's suspicious looking. I'm trying to cut the grass and clean the garden. And we found this. That's the stuff. Which looks incredibly suspicious. Isn't that looking suspicious? No babies. See, I just look, there's a bunch of that stuff. Yeah, I just don't like to cut the grass if I feel like I'm gonna run over a nest. It makes me so nervous. Yeah, I love it, Sophie. Sophie tried on her new dress. It's too hot for us. Too hot, she's getting the sunscreen. All right, we got some spray sunscreen. How do I use this? Oh, I do not even know. Like it went from winter to summer, but I know in some places in the States they got snow today. Isn't that crazy? Can someone show us how to use this? <laughs> Let me see. Need your help. Sunscreen. Yeah, we can't open it. I think you have to take that. Oh, oh God, Sophie got it. Um, This way says lock, so I twisted it the other way. Oh, okay. I thought you had to rip off some protective okay. layer. So, uh, ever since we got Sophie's new horse, actually even before, there's oh, been so much hate going on online. People send me messages. 
No, I don't want any sunscreen, thanks. Gabby, stop spraying me with sunscreen. I'm gonna have to on my face. Stop. Do I spray Gabby! It on I like sunscreen. I like sun. Ugh. Do you put it on your fingers to rub it? Yeah, you can put it on your fingers and rub it. But anyways, I wanted to talk about the hate. And all I wanted to say was this. Because I get burnt underneath my We eyes. all hate. We all judge people. We all make I assumptions. And when uh, we're hurting especially, we make up lies to make it seem like we're justified. And I've been there. You guys have all been there. I, I like get caught up in it you all get caught up in it and hurting people hurt people like <laughs> sunscreen tastes gross i hate the spray stuff but people who are hurting hurt people and we you guys know how it feels when people feel offended or slighted or or not heard they often try and <laughs> hurt you back they people who are feeling hurt want to hurt back and I need a can because I get burnt underneath my eyes and it's back really up a bit where are you gonna keep it um I have a purse in there which I'm gonna grab all right you I can have one yeah Sophie gets sunburned at the beginning of the year and then she tans and then she doesn't get burnt anymore <laughs> no, and Gabby doesn't burn so too much are you and your face most I burn is right here. Yeah, that's where I burn too. Burn. But it's like a light, light. All right, so, so. It's like I'm wearing blush. So, Gabby, tell us about the hate. I want a trampoline. Those kids have a trampoline. Good, bad. Do you care? No. You don't care? I don't care. Better do you Just because people say something doesn't make it true. How do you feel about the hate? Um, it's kind of fun. Sophie gets off on the hate, and I think some people do that too. Like, she likes to read sometimes the oh, hate. Okay. Because she recognizes how crazy it is. But one thing that I know for sure is that when you're frustrated and hating, when you're frustrated and you're hating and you're making up stories and you're saying awful things to hurt other people, it feels bad inside your heart. And so when you're hating, the only people inside. that really are hurt are yourselves. I know because I've hated on people. You guys have seen like la a couple, couple of years ago, I used to comment back like a, a year ago maybe. I used to comment back in the comments and argue with people who wanted to have their own narrative. And I learned from that. I learned not to do that because the only person that it hurts when you hate is yourself. And so I want to just put it out there that for any people who support us and care about us and if you're out there seeing hate, because I get so many messages every single day, especially from kids who say, look what somebody said about you. And even people in the hate group send me message, say, messages saying like, wow, look what people are saying about you. And it hurts them to see people saying awful things. And all I can say is that what you say is a reflection of your heart. And Hold I on. don't want anybody Hold to this. Hate Give me the camera. on our behalf. Give me the camera. Get it off me. Get it off me. <laughs> Get it off me. Ah, oh, where'd it go? What was it? It was a bug. All right, was that bug there the whole time? The whole time I'm telling you guys, don't hate for us. That's all I want to say about the hate. It doesn't matter what people say. When people say mean, awful things, it is a reflection of them, it is a reflection of their heart. And I want you guys to be better than that. I want you guys to recognize the amazing in you and I want you to have happiness inside you. So ignore the hate, ignore it, right? Ignore the hate? Yeah, just ignore it, that's what we do. Also, keep calm and ride on, you guys. Ignore the hate, don't defend us. Keep calm and ride on. And also been there, jump that. But I wanted to tell you guys about, like probably a lot of you guys already saw this, but my friend sent me this link today to a video and it was this thing. If you guys are feeling like you wanna to cry today, like I just cried so much. Like I cried so much, I don't even know if you can see, my eyes are swollen, but this link to this video, it's gone viral, but it's this little tiny girl who did barrel racing and, and she, her horse had an injury and the vets did everything that they could and then they finally decided that there was nothing that they could do to save this horse and he wasn't ever gonna, or I think it was a she, wasn't ever gonna be able to barrel race or ride again and it was so, they told her that she could have a last ride. So she ran barrels on her horse that 
was its last ride and she just went out there and she walked the whole barrel course with her injured horse and did their last ride together and it was just beautiful like I oh can't even hardly talk about it. I didn't cry until the last five seconds when she came off the last barrel and she was walking home and she just started sobbing on her horse it was so sad like holy heck and the guy was talking about like you know this is their last ride and oh just so sad anyway <laughs> i'll put the link below so that you guys can watch it is that emotional like it just was so so emotional and so beautiful in every single way and i think everybody should see it so in the in the i will post the link in the description box don't you know that you're beautiful?